Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. St. Joseph College Mission We commit to build the St. Joseph College Educative Family SJCEF centered on Christ to form every member into an integral human person in food with the gospel values and equipped with excellent quality education and to be an active agent in making a humane society. Vision St. Joseph College, a Catholic school, envisions the evangelized and evangelizing community, providing excellent integral education and involvement in social transformation. Good day and welcome to our technology and livelihood education 10 and welcome back to school so I hope you enjoyed your Lenten season and also slash vacation so I hope you're able to reflect all the wrong and bad doings you got there so for this week we're going to have a fresh and very interesting and very useful topic but before that we're going to review what happened during our llm 14. so last uh module you're able to discuss about packaging food stuff okay so there are very here are the very important stuff that we should remember that packaging is a process of enclosing a product in any accept acceptable or suitable container in order to protect what it sells and what it protects. Next is the modern, the modern concept of packaging is that it is considered by entrepreneurs as an investment, a marketing tool, and as more than just a container. And it's a global in character, cost-oriented, and socially focused. Next, that there are three types of packaging, the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary package. So, ang primary, motong individual pack. Ang secondary, 
moto ang mga 10 to 20 packs. So, pwede rin sa distribute locally. And the tertiary, moto sa ang mga bulto-bulto like hundreds or thousand packs that can be distributed all over the world through air or sea transit. Next is, there is a need to package food, to preserve, to contain, to describe an identity or identify, to have product sales appeal and to help keep to minimum the cost of production and distribution. And then the goal of effective packaging is to maintain the high quality attribute of the food according to enterprise standards which includes appearance, flavor, color, texture, and nutritive value. Next, we have to realize the goal of effective packaging considering the following. First is adequate knowledge of or in changes of affecting in food like substance, like its uh, chemical content, preservatives. Second is food safety and laws and regulation. So FDA is the one who regulates food safety. C is competitive products and brands. And the last is food marketing program. Okay, so labeling is important also in component of packaging as it describes and identifies the product. Then eight types of packaging includes plastic, metal, glass, brick cartons, cardboard, and polystyrene. So polystyrene is mauna ang styrofoam. So the most eco-friendly among is the cardboard. Okay, easily to decompose and biodegradable. So now, we are going to proceed with our new lesson. So before I will going to uh, go through the details of our next lesson, I will going to share to you a quote about cleanliness. So cleanliness gives rise to a good character by keeping body, mind, and soul clean and peaceful. Maintaining cleanliness is the essential part of healthy living because it is the cleanliness only which helps improve our personality by keeping clean external and internal. So, it reflects the cleanliness inside you to outside. So, if limpyo ka, ka mapagkatao, then sure na kung limpyo yung surroundings. We cannot leave a place or habitat that is very dirty and cluttered. And if you already know what our topic for the module 15. So that will be the cleaning, living room, dining room, toilet, and bathroom. So the content of the topic is, content of this module is, first is cleaning surface, floors, furnishings, and fixtures. Second is dealing with carpet stains and spills. Third is care, cleaning, and maintenance of furniture and fixtures. So let's watch this video first. Take me in your arms, do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around when I need some love and baby. And I'll never let you down. Let you down, let you down. Your song can you sing all my melodies? There's no one else, cause baby, we got chemistry. You give me feelings that feelings that I never knew. This heart of mine will always and forever belong to you. You and me were meant to be as one. The universe has known it all along. Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe it was written in the stars Written in the stars You me Never drawn apart Cause I belong 
As you seen in the video that it is the area is very clean cozy and shiny so kisa may hindi ka nahan mag-leave or mupuyo nga ng area di ba so sometimes dita gusto mo mupuyo sa balay kay very cluttered di ba so hugaw cluttered so why not kanang you will going to imbued or acquire skills uh, to clean. Canning cleaning is not only uh, by gender. So, either boy or girl, male, female, or whatever gender you have, you can do it. Because, kinsa na naman joy mo limpyo if ever ikaw naman nahimilin. For example, you go to, go abroad to work, then you, mahala ba nga to ang service cleaning or cleaning service so, you have to do it on your own. So, at least in these topics, you are going to acquire knowledge skills in cleaning your dining, your uh, living room, and of course, comfort room. So, one should develop of providing clean and orderly housing facilities and surrounding. The living and dining room toilet and bathroom requires thorough cleaning. There should be no visible dirt and must be properly sanitized so that all sanitized, sorry, all germs and bacteria are killed with the use of sanitizing chemical. This will ensure a sanitized environment and occupants are protected from possible disease. Okay, so this class will discuss the importance of keeping the room clean, orderly, and pleasant to make the occupants comfortable. Excellent. Keep for a while. Okay, so first, cleaning surfaces, floors, furniture, and fixture, fixtures. The living and dining room, toilet, and bathroom should be immaculately clean. It is essential to keep these rooms free from pathogenic organisms or germs to protect the occupants from illness, especially now that we have coronavirus, the cause of the year-long pandemic. So, it's still ongoing and still rising again. Or cases are rising again. By the way, class, when you say occupant, it refers to a person who resides or is present or present in a house or simply in a place to a given time. So, sa Australia, uso karon ang kanang service cleaning. Ang occupant mo hire on service cleaners. Kanang usually sila mga part-time na sila kay mga student, like that. So, kanang 
why not? For example, mo ato mo o Australia puhon or US, then they'll hire you for a service as a service cleaner. Then na nakai in ka. So dako ang ilang sweldo per hour nato. Okay. Furniture and furnishings should be dusted every day and curtains should be removed and changed when already dusty. The home must be equipped with appropriate cleaning supplies and materials. Cleaning is greatly dependent on skills of the cleaner and on the avail availability of the cleaning materials, supplies, and equipment and how they are properly used. So, mas easy jud ang buhatunon sa paglimpyo if na available ra ang cleaning materials and also you are also and also the cleaner is very skilled. Okay, next, the following are the different types of floors that require daily maintenance to avoid accumulation of dirt and keep the floor clean, neat, and shiny. So first is we have the vinyl floors. Kanang koan siya. Kanang plastic mat bitaw. Kabantay mo sa inyong balay. Kanang naibotang. Kanang design galing siya nga murag. Kanang may pattern nga box box. Or kanang plaid. Muna siya ang vinyl na floors. So usually uh, you have to wet mop it and polish it. So when you say vinyl flooring in the synthetic flooring material that is durable, affordable and easy to install. Mapalit na siya sa atong local stores here. Next is concrete floor for we have to do sweeping on it. So a concrete floor is typically one in which flat slab is formed to concrete. Concrete means cemento. It can be either be base or ground floors. Okay, next we have the carpeted floors. So, usually, the sweepers will do sweeping and vacuuming. So, kinahana na ang vacuum machine, ani. So, kasabot na carpet, right? Okay. So, next is the wood and parquet floors. So, we have to do spray, buffing, and vacuuming. Parquet is pronounced as parquet. So, par plus k is parquet. It is type of flooring that is composed of wooden blocks arranged in geometrical pattern. So, monja ang parquet. Next is marble or granite. So we do sweeping, mopping, and polishing. So it mean, what do you mean by sweeping? Sweeping is silhigan, using fibers, right? Okay. So marble is type of very hard rock which feels cold when you touch it and which shines when it cuts and polished. The statues and parts of building are sometimes made of marble. So, usually, kada pong mga vase na po yun marble type, no? Okay, usually, sa mentero, yun mo kanyo makita po ng marble. Next is granite. It's an igneous rock that gets formed. When exposed to high heat, then it is structured as crystalline and tiles made from granite are very dense and strong. Granite tiles strength is almost the same as porcelain. Granite floors are very resistant to spills or stains. So, kabantay mo ka ng mga sa suba ka ng mga itong ng mga bato-bato, manazay granite. Usually, granites are sediments in the river. So, one example so, these are the vinyl flooring. So, di ba familiar? No. Next, we have the concrete slab and flooring. Mone siya, ang usually ka na sa mga hospitals, schools. Mone siya slab or concrete. Wooden. So, have you visit Malaykan Anan? They have wooden flooring there. Parquet, as you observe, it's block formation and geometrica. Then we have carpeted flooring. So carpeted flooring, nas mga hotels like that. Happen to be one of the service cleaner in the hotel, then you can encounter lots of carpets there. So you have to use vacuum. The granite, katadat. 
So, mga nagitudyo ni Gany Obisayn, kanang na ice space between the lines para it mo uwan, mo absorb ra ang water. Then, we have the marble, ang pinakasasya, kaya sa mga high-rise condominium, like sa penthouse. Okay, next. So, furniture and fixtures. So, appeal including ang fur including sa furniture and fixtures ang living and dining room sets, TV and stands, computer set and stands, shelves, cabinet, wall frames, lamps, decors, mirrors, and other fixtures found in the room. So, we also have paneling, desk, kitchen surfaces, countertops, doors, and windows. So, in cleaning different floors, we have this in the picture, a putinite. So, for the vinyl, concrete, and marble granite floors, first you have to sweep with the broom to remove dirt and litter. So, using a broom weed, fiber, can be made from fiber down, or from uh, strands of na, bonot. Lanot na, oh yeah. I don't know, lanot na, or basta kay squad. Uh, you, as a broom, we sweep first the floor from vinyl, in a vinyl, concrete, and marble granite floors. Then you scrape sticky dirt using a putty knife. For example, lay bata na to na milit og, bablogam. So, money can be a beauty knife. A beauty knife is a broad, flat metal blade specifically for applying and putty and for scraping. So, next is mop. Uh, after scraping, we do mopping. Then, we mop messy spots and stains using a wet mop. Then, if messy spots and stains are stubborn, apply detergent solution, then scrub lightly on stained areas. Rinse with plain water and wipe dry with a clean, dry mop. Then for the general cleaning of BC, uh, BC floor where dirt and dust accumulates fast, use the three bucket cleaning system. So we're going to discuss that later. So here is the three bucket cleaning system. So one, so Materials and chemicals needed. First is three buckets of pails containing water for rinsing. B is cleaning detergent or solution. The next is to have extra bucket for emptying used chemical and water. The next is two floor mops or racks. The procedure. Deep, I mean, deep floor mop into detergent solution. Katong. Solution, it means na water and the uh, powder soap. Naman na yung solution. Then, yung ito i-deep. First is ito i-deep ang atong floor mop. Then, next is wipe the area to be clean. Okay. So, we have to wipe it. The area nga na ay mess. Next is squeeze the mop into an empty bucket. So, what is the second bucket? na to squeeze ang atong kanang wet nga mop. Then, next is, or number four, is place second mop or floor mop into clean water. So, balik na po ka sa clean water kay para ma-remove ang excess nga dirty water or solution nga higikan na higikan. Then, next is mop again. Or wipe again the area. So, number six, squeeze the mop into the empty bucket again. Then, number seven, replace water with clean one if necessary and move into another area. So, three bucket. First is water with solution. Next is clean water. The third, uh, the third bucket is empty bucket where you have to squeeze the wet mop. 
after na ni Mogi sweep na to or gawat na to sa dirty area, magtupod, mabutang ang dirty particles. Okay? Next. How to clean wood and bracket or bracket floors? A, initial care. So, initial care means mga buhaton per meal. First is have the floor properly sanded. Then, this is to bring out the natural color of wood and make it finely textured and completely clean. So, sand, you will, will use a sandpaper to use it. Murag ato sa dyan lihaan. Next is vacuum clean. This is to improve all hidden dirt and dust, especially in between woods on corners, sides, and edges. Daghan namang available na cheap vacuum cleaner karon. You can order it at Lazada or Shopee. So, after vacuuming, you have to fill or seal it with three coats of sealer, then buff between applications. A polymer sealer may be used for this purpose. So, daghang sealer, kanang mga solution or mga sticky kanang sealer, mabalit na sa mga hardware. Now, after sealing, we have to D, or number four, apply solvent-based wax. This is a kerosene-based wax specially used for wood and parquet floor. So, during your elementary time sa GC, ang among, wood, among floor nga is wood. So, every day na ay different groups assigned as sweepers. So, part of sweeping is floor waxing. So, yung D? Solvent-based wax. So, one thing I really hate during the elementary time, during kanang mga sweeping-sweeping is ang floor wax na red color ma-attach siya atong uniform. So, muna yung abot sa bahay kasabaan na po. Kaya di mag-careful. However, na na po yung mga floor wax nga white or transparent in colors. And na ko favorite nga to nga floor wax nga humot dyan siya. So, uh, that's it. So, di ba? As, as young as we are, like, in elementary, you train it for sweeping. So, why? Because cleanliness is very important. Okay. So, B, daily care. So, muna ni ang everyday care sa atong kuan. Sa atong wood and brocade floors. First is buff with floor polisher using a buffing brush. To, pre or to bring out the gloss of the wax floor. So, what matay polisher or buffing brush sa una, matong gamit ng bunot ka ng kuan ng paso. So, siya mas una kayo na masilay kuan ka ng, ka ng mag rotation may tao na buffing buffing ka ng equipment. Next is apply the second coating of wax, then buff again. So, sa rentary ka, tulong magaling may magbalik-balik. Kana, jo mo twinkle na sa mata. So, the second coating gives a glossier finish and makes the floor more resistant to stains, dirts, and water drippings. So, letter C, we have to mop every day with wax-treated dust mop. So, kung wax-treated kali, so, muta nga incorporate na to ang wax na to sa mop gamay. So, mara nang buhaton sa next day na mo nga student na classmate is to mop it naman with uh, mop with wax. So, for, we have to damp mop only when necessary. Then, with little amount of moisture. Okay. So, money and two types of Buffing, buffing floors. Okay. So, it is electrically operated. Ay, di, ang usa di, is mechanically operated ra, walay electric, electricity. Ang kaning usa, na ay electricity connected. So, uh, ano na pa dun, actually, to ni, ang pinaka-native is ang katubot. So, force pop First spot, shampooing. So, mag-shampoo na ta sa, sa atong spot 
So, atong area where there is really a greasy spot or dirt nga to, or dirt nga to. So, brush or blot or vacuum as much pore material as possible. So, blot is a dry wet surface or substance using an absorbent material. So, foam, absorbent material man. So, what it's aside, it will make the stain less moisture. Okay? Mo transfer a moisture and to sustain going to the blotting material. Like the foam. So, let's is apply carpet shampoo cleaner as directed. Do not use excessive water. Okay? Dugay mauga. Wash spots from the outside to the center to avoid spreading the stain. Yes, it is the same as the wound. Kung na ano infected wound, dapat outer to inner siya para bili mag scattered around ang bacteria. Next is after spot washing, blot with absorbent tissue or cloth. So, naan naman tayo mga fiber cloth dere nga mo absorb o water. So, available na po na siya sa mga, uh, mga hardware store. Repeat blotting until the stain is completely removed. Then, number five, if some strains or stains remain, do not, I'm sorry, do another treatment or spotting. So, repeat performance sa laman. Kakibasin ang stain na ay dye. So, usually ka na mga food colorings listen dyan na siya, i-remove. Next or last is dry carpet completely. Nga na dry man. Again, it ay moisture. Nga to malodge ang bacteria. Nga to modivide and multiply. Next is for carpet shampooing. So, money usually buhato dito sa mga high-end nga mga hotel. Mga 3 star to 5 star. So, first is Clear carpet with all other furniture. For example, a carpet kay na mo just pinakaubos no sa surface no. So, so remove mga koan mga furniture like kanang mga vase, like chairs, like that. Then is vac vacuum dirt thoroughly. So na electrical operated road. Then third is spot and Remove stains. So, katong ganina, spotting, katong the use of the uh, katong material, absorbent material. Follow manual structure for chemical dilution. Then, start shampooing from side to center of the surface. Then, work with the machine along sides and corners. If using a rotary system, handle machine from left to right with overlapping strokes. Left to right. Right to left. If using an instructor method, work on lanes, also overlapping strokes. So, kung overlapping stroke kali, pwede lang magbalik-balik. Okay? Carpet is then rinsed after extraction. Then, do not overwet the carpet. Again, kinugay mauga. So, kung na moisture, na bacteria. Let it dry completely. Then reset pile of brushing with a soft brush. Then vacuum thoroughly to remove the foam residue. Dealing with carpet stains and spills. Okay. So what is what are stains and spills? They are sore site. For example, very uh, dirty white in yung koan. Kanang carpet. Pero na ay burgundy coloring stain yan to kay nag-inom gabi eh. So like that in the picture. So mura si Zaog, samok tanawon, or hugawan tanawon. Especially those who have OCDs or obsessive compulsive disorders, di sila mahimutang jud o na ay stain ang ilang carpet. So next is tarnish. Stains and spills are tarnishes. The hygienic and aesthetic appeal of the carpet. So, hugaw siya. When stains appear because of spills, do the following. Number one is to wipe out the spills as soon as it occurs. So, dilip na maghuwat o mga an hour ago or a day. So, after mas spill siya, e wipe siya derecho. Next is, scrape the solid stains if possible. 
if na ni solidify na siya, you scrape it using ato ganina ta koan ng material kani kani putty knife. Yes. Then third is dip a sponge in cold water and wipe away the stains. So kano cold water man? Di ba kung cold kay dili mo spread ang solution? Then hot kay mo spread siya. So we use the one will not spread the solution, the cold one. Okay. So fourth, if the stain does not remove, dip sponge in a detergent solution. Yeah, available in detergent solution like Ariel, like Surf, Breathe. Then, we have to move sponge from the side or edge to the center of the stain. Kanina naman. Para di na po mo spread out ang stain. Next is rinse with clean water and dry. Then, do not wet it jud kajo. Then, keep the area away from children or people. Dili sa pat na magtumot kayo kung moisture siya. Kung now the process mo siya og, Kung ano process pa siya o ka ng drying, then kung palabilabyan ni mo o mga bata, mahugar agad po siya. Kaya mo atas ka to ang dirt sa moisture. Third one, we have care, cleaning, and maintenance of furniture and fixtures. So guys, these are the visual example of furniture. So there are kaning mga cabinet chairs, kaning mga sunbathing, kaning lazy chair, or, yeah, kani, usually ka ng office chair, ka ng gaming, na naroon also, gaming chair, ka ng mga windows, ka ng, just ka in, any movable. Ang fixtures, ka na naka-attach na dyan siya sa imong kuan. Sa, naka-attach na siya sa imong, ah, naka-attach na siya sa imong walls, or sa room, like for example, like any faucet, like any electric fan, like any lamps, or any mga uh, side desk nga attached sa wall, any mga lamps, o any mga decoration, kaya naka-attach or nakatlangsang na dira sa kilid mo na mga fixtures. Ang furniture, kaya nang ma-move-move pa. You cannot you cannot uh, remove fixtures without removing the nails or the one that attach it. Okay? So, kung mag-revise mo sa inyong floor plan for the che I mean, for the room, ang uh, furniture na dyan ang dali-dali dyan ang ma-move. Okay? So, we have daily care and maintenance. Number one, wipe and dust away all the dirts both inside and out. So, using katong fiber bitaw, katong uh, cloth fiber, or using also a feather duster. Number two, apply cleaner solution to all corners. So, we use Domex or Lysol for that. Number three, apply furniture polish for better and shiny finish. So, bora na siya oil gamay to make it lustrous look looking in your furniture and fixture. Number four, spray the furniture with polish using a sprayer. So, na tayo available ang sprayer na ito sa atong mga hardware, like in Metro and also in the CD hardware. Number five, use furniture polish regularly, once or twice a week, para to maintain the beautiful appearance of your furniture. Okay? Number six, you have to polish containing cleansing conditioner, anti-dust formula and allergen trappers are now available. Murag mo na siya kuan. Murag na siya o kanang coating, final coating sa inyong furniture, kanang mga anti-dust formula. Alright. So, we have steps in dusting furniture and fixtures. So, you need these supplies. Clean rags, dusting cloth, furniture, wood polish, and sprayer. So, pwede lang tagkutong sa dusting cloth. No, kaya what? Usually, sa mga kalaghanan nga mga middle income family, we don't use 
furniture polish we only until dusting cloth rajuta and cleaning rags so steps first is start dusting of fixtures beginning with the main door back door Jabs, hinges, and doorknobs. Use rags and sprayer of wood polish. Again, what are the fixtures? Those are attached on the room. So, those are electric fans, your uh, lamp, your doors. That. So, number three, I mean number two, continue dusting and proceed to the wood panels. Then, we have to continue dusting. Carefully remove all the items on top of the brick and brack. So, start the brick and brack. Brick and brack. Okay, well, brick and brack is a miscellaneous objects and ornaments of little value. Kanang mga kanang napalitan ni mo nga mga ornaments or kanang mga kanang mga for, kanang mga for the frames or kanang mga porcelains nga di kaya importante mo na yung brick and brack pero for example kung gift na ni Nino or Ninang di na siya brick and brack okay importante siya okay so, check your dust cloth if it is still clean. So, dili mo gamit sa dust cloth if nahuban siya gamit sa walabhi. No, it should be clean. So, you have to check it time by time. Okay, alangan man yung white ni mong dust cloth then pag white ni mo, pag sweet ni mo nga to sa area na itong. Sama po yung gamit to na to sa lying area. So, nagkaratlan na ka sa koan, sa dirt or sa uh Hugao. Then, find dust windows, window wheels, walls, lamps, decors, walls, frame, then mirrors and other fixture found in the room. Okay. So, removing spots, stains in furniture and fixtures. So, use furniture polish with spot and stain remover in polished wood furniture. Then, we have to use a furniture polish or detergent solution for stubborn dirt like spots and stains on vinyl, leather, and upholstery of the furniture. Okay. You might have noticed during our recent home tour video that we have a hodgepodge of wood furniture here at Clean My Space HQ. And over the years, many people have asked me, what is the best way to care for wood furniture? So this week, I'm gonna show you exactly how I maintain all of my wood furniture. As surprising as it sounds, the less you do to your wood furniture, the better it is for the furniture. In fact, varnished wood furniture in my home gets cleaned once a week using nothing more than a microfiber cloth and H2O. This removes any dust and the microfiber helps shine up the surface. If your wood is unfinished, just clean it using a dry microfiber cloth because moisture can parch and or warp the wood. And to determine if your wood is unfinished, just add a drop of water to the surface. If it beads, it's got varnish. And if it absorbs and leaves a little mark, which will dry up, don't worry, it's unfinished. Quick side note, if you wanna know how to clean hardwood floors, we've got a video for that, which I will link down below for you to click or tap. Now, you might be saying, Melissa, that's all fine and good, but what about furniture polish? Aren't I supposed to use that? Well, let me explain the FP situation here a little bit further for you. According to a manufacturer of a popular furniture polish brand, it's designed to bring out the shine of your wood and to polish and protect your furniture. But here's the kicker. Not all wood and wood finishes are created equal because of course different wood specimens and varnishes have different requirements. So furniture polish is really not an all-in-one solution. Further, and here's a misconception, it doesn't even clean anything. In fact, it can dull the finish and leave a buildup on your furniture over time. 
So in my professional opinion, leave store-bought furniture polish out of your cleaning kit. If you have been overusing furniture polish and you find that your wood is super dulled out, you'll see this haze or streaks that you just can't get rid of. So what you can do to manage that is apply a bit of vegetable-based enzyme cleaner to sit on the wood for a couple of minutes, which will sort of remove that buildup, and then you can wipe that away with a cotton cloth and buff it dry. Now if you can't find that, you can use steeped black tea to do this. The tannins in the tea will help break down that dulled finish and reveal a beautiful shine. Now if you don't know how to do that, I will pop the instructions up on cleanmyspace.com and the link will be down below for you. So when do you polish your furniture and how often? Well the simple answer is to do it whenever the wood looks dull or uneven. And as I so often do, I'm going to recommend that you just make your own furniture polish. In a clean spray bottle, add one part white vinegar to three parts olive oil and shake well. Spray the polish onto a soft cotton cloth and apply in a buffing motion to the wood furniture. The oil moisturizes the wood and the vinegar cleans it and of course, you can use the leftovers on your salad. Remember, using it too often will create a sticky buildup which attracts dirt and dust. You can also use this mixture on antiques, however, do be very careful when dealing with old antique pieces or furniture made from exotic woods. They may very well have specific cleaning requirements, so do your research. If you have heat or water marks, you can restore the wood by applying mayonnaise to the area, leaving it overnight and then buffing it into the table in the morning. Now this one is hard for me to do because I have a major, and I mean major, aversion to mayonnaise. I don't know why this disgusting product works so well on wood, but it just does. The key to keeping your wood furniture in tip top shape is preventative maintenance. Always wipe up spills and messes as soon as they happen, and try to use placemats and coasters whenever possible. It's best to make sure that everything decorative which is placed on your furniture has felt pads or something similar on the bottom to avoid scratching, and also try to keep your wood furniture away from fireplaces and radiators. And guys, if you do all that, your wood furniture is going to last you for a real long time. Okay, so attendants, type your favorite quote about cleanliness in the comment box below this video. Okay, so again, type your favorite cleanliness quote or quote about cleanliness in this comment box. Box. And it's a YouTube video. So announcement, we will be having a virtual class on Thursday, April 8, 2021, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Please review all the slides discussed today for an oral recitation on Thursday. I guess that will be all. Thank you.